Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day. I am not. Um, you'll understand why at the end of this video. <laughs> wow. I just wanted to go through these screenshots so I can quickly, so I can delete them and get them out of my damn phone. That's what I normally do whenever I do a video on all these. I just get rid of them because I don't need them anymore. And I just refer back to my videos. <sighs> if I need to. Um, do you remember how KJ was squawking about how she was doxxed? Those photos taken were not from a neighbor. They were from Google, and they were also from her sharing them before that she forgot about. Yeah. And so she was squawking about that, claiming being doxxed, but she does this. So this is okay, Mouth? Robert has a townhouse that houses all the alleged shell companies and official business address of Shekinah Church. Really? This is okay but not showing photos of your home that you've already put out and one that was on Google. Really? Wow. Seek help. I told you the call is leaking the stuff to TMZ. So again, this series contains four former 7M members, three former Shekinah members, two families, and a friend of the survivor. And according to Roberto, all of them are lying for, more, for money. The only one lying for money is, Ro is Roberto. His name is Robert, okay? Have some fucking class. Robert is ruining. Are we sure it's not ruining? I'm sorry. I'm angry. The careers of these dancers and he still has yet to stand up for himself as a man of God and talent manager. Maybe because he knows that it's not that simple and that there are other investigations that remaining remain ongoing in other agencies. Proof or didn't happen. Oh, and a lawsuit filed by seven former former members. Every single person that I've spoken to to that has left Robert Shin's church has called it a cult. There are countless victims that remain in the... I almost wanted to call her the C-U-N-X-T word. And I thought I said it. I said countless instead of countless. <laughs> Whoop. There are countless victims that remain in the shadows. Uh, afraid of his retaliation. At what point does law enforcement stop him? I don't know, Mouth. At what point is law enforcement going to stop you? <laughs> Dancing for the devil, Doc. Elijah Billen was a guest investigated by cops. Clays clo clothes, no turtles. Tidays, a.k.a. Robert, accuses three women of lying for money as he praises TMZ. <sighs> I get... Channels jumping on stories without doing any research. No investigating the claims are very, very dangerous on YouTube. Are you kidding me? Have you watched your own crap? Well, I was accused of being a liar, which I did not lie nor defame anyone. Many people ran with false allegations as truth against me. Make this make sense. Don't worry, I will at the end make it make sense. Because you're in deep shit. Oh, yeah. This bull crap. So I want to tell you this because she absolutely lied and said she was never on TikTok. What do I see at the bottom here? 40.4 40, 40. thousand followers. Without a crystal ball, 22 on TikTok. Her new account, 12,000 followers on TikTok. Because on TikTok, she keeps lying and saying, oh, I never had another account. I never was on TikTok. No, I don't know how this works. It's so easy to prove your lies. It's sickening. And both videos posted by Miranda Derrick, likely made at the direction of her mentor, Robert, the snake, or the, she shakes her head no while saying a positive statement. You're an expert now? Like, have you seen your videos? Are you kidding? Your eyes roll around your head like the exorcist did. According to Boston University, okay, I'm not going to read this psychologist bullcrap. Excessive fidgeting of the hands can be a sign of stress. In both videos here, Miranda makes a positive statement while shaking her head no. You were... You're obsessed with Miranda. You really are. Single, white, female. I'm making a request. Please do not. Please stop sending me a body language video about Josh and Anna Duggar. Meanwhile, she says it up at the top. Anyone that knows me knows that I do not buy into anyone clarifying to be a body language expert. Why the hell are you quoting a doctor then? A psychologist, Dr. Ellen Hendrickson. Why are you quoting that? Really? Body language is not specific or exact. There are a million reasons we move the way we do. It's not reliable as an indicator as to how we feel. I don't want to discuss what physics, body language, and any other WOC expert thinks about this case. I have sources that can tell me how they are feeling. No, the people normally can tell you how they're feeling, idiot. But that's why balls, put balls, and then her doing her nails. Because it's like, you're so easy to prove when you lie. 
Several people were kind enough to send me pictures of without a crystal ball's house. Look at that garage. The Paulsons are hoarders. Katie is a public figure, and if she can post pictures of Miranda's house, so can balls. <laughs> Robert Shin and Balls, this is insane. To the neighbor taking these photos, we have cameras all around the house and we will watch the cameras and report you for trespassing. We aren't hoarders. My husband is a woodworker. You psychotic person. Uh-huh. Right. You want to see the pictures? Balls has them on Twitter. And I believe she does on Instagram as well. I just didn't show them because I don't want to be as low as her. But anyways, not saying Balls is. I love what Balls did. And I agree with it. That's why I'm reading this. So that's what, so to her, um, what is it? Her ring camera does she have? Her cameras around her house? Hmm. So why haven't you put out a video showing your swatting? All right, I know, because it didn't happen. Don't worry, girl. There's people who already fire requested your so-called swatting. So look forward to that the next coming days. I'm not one of them, but a great creator has done that. So when that person comes out with it, well, I'll be happy to watch. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's <laughs> Don't you just love my thumbnails? <laughs> People send me the most ugliest photos and I use them and I will keep using them. Hello, I'm Netflix. This is Katie Joy, our cultural consultant for the TikTok cult. Um, I need security. These bots are doing to me what I've been doing to the others. Yeah, they're saying it's karma or something. <laughs> <laughs> this was from Without a Crystal Ball versus Without a Crystal Ball. Oh, girl. To my neighbor taking photos for Robert Chin, we do have a dog that'll bite you. If you get too close, we have ring cameras all over this house. You will be reported to police for harassment and stalking. I hope it was worth it for your for you to help a cult leader. Actually, it's not legal to take pictures of someone's house. Just so you know. Not only that is you don't have ring cameras because if you did, you would have shown the evidence. Same with the swatting. Stop lying. This is from Amber Stavik, and it says, I'm running to request a 60-day extension of the deadlines for depositions. Uh, disp disp uh, sorry, I can't even read that word. Dispositions, mo motions, and one dispositive motion in this matter. I was diagnosed with cancer last month and underwent surgery. So she's still recovering, and she needs time. That's what that was about. <laughs> I doubt it's a neighbor. I bet he hired someone to do it. Meaning Robert. It's likely someone he can control. Mouse says, I fully believe it's a neighbor. <laughs> Interesting. I would think he would want someone who he has control over that couldn't possibly give it. We'd love to know how anyone would know where the person is from. UK was never even on the radar. Thanks for the message, but I'm not responding to anyone in DMs. Hey, girl, I just wanted to say keep up the good work you were doing. I've reported that loon from the UK on Twitter because she is from the UK. She is liable for slander. They cannot go around like people in the US and post that trash. I used to moderate UK chat and message boards, and they do not have freedom of speech like we do. And she says, would love to know how anyone would wear, know where this person is is from uk was never even on the radar uh hello nat you brought her in <laughs> <sighs> oh i needed that for some bitch who was harassing me anyways slavic is a member of 7m and she kind of church he's changed his name to vic white under robert shen really where's your proof Slavik is an immigrant from Ukraine. He has been in the United States since he was a child. Despite his mom marrying an American, Slavik has absolutely no paper trails and all. So that tells me you have been stalking him and going into court records and everything else like you normally do to try and find some dirt on him. And you can't. And I am happy you can't. You are sick in the friggin' head. Robert Chen preys on immigrants and uses their hunger for the American dream against them. What? 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 <laughs> Robert Chin preys on immigrants and uses their hunger for the American dream against them. You're like, you're not all there. The most concerning aspect of my coverage of this story is the utter invisibility of Slavic on paper. He has no paper trail, AKA I cannot stalk him. Every other dancer in the group can be searched and public records are found. There's only one record connected to Slavic and it's a business Shirley Kim formed for him. Slavic's mom came to the United States in the search for a better life. His skills as a dancer proved to be their ticket to success. Because of their hunger for a better life, there's likely a willingness to accept unfair treatment in A. So again, you don't know. You're speculating, you're lying, and this is why you're being sued. Slavic's mom is unwilling to speak out against the cult. Yeah, she, says, she doesn't want to speak to you. She doesn't want nothing to do with you. <clears throat> Look what you have done to these dancers. You have ruined their lives. 
Like, wow. Read the room, KJ. Savick's mom is unwilling to speak out against the cult. We have never figured out why, given the level of control Robert has over him, Savick's story is not featured in the series because he had no friends or family come forward for him. Yeah, they wouldn't allow you to speak ill of him. That's what it was. Robert has allegedly exploited and aimed immigrants for decades. Again, where's your proof? Their vulnerable status makes them easy prey. Many of Robert's victims refuse to come forward due to Robert arranging them in illegal green card marriages. Slavic is not big white. He is Slavic and I can't pronounce the last name. And he is a member of a cult. Robert is doing everything to trick all of you. Sorry to burst the bubble. Girl, you have been lying for years. And that's exactly what this is. Stop it. Wow. A threat I've received from Robert's Trolls today. Dead Man Walking is my favorite song. Guess why? Amber has got cancer and you have treated her awfully. You think you're so smart, but you're not, Katie. You and Todd are like the two ants in the ocean. You mean nothing to anyone with a brain and disgust all of us. I sent threatening emails to Miranda in your name. So the police should be at your house soon. We all got photos from Google Maps. It's free on the internet. You gave us your address freely. LOL. Loads of us have photos of your home. We know you lock Vaughn away in the basement and torture him. I even took the liberty of contacting your old stalker, Nat. I wonder what she thinks of you, LOL. I know you think you're smarter than all of us, but you're not, Katie. You and Todd belong six feet, understand, and it won't be long before Robert makes that happen. I do not know what IYKYK means. Favorite colors, black. Favorite song, Dead Man Walking. Miranda gets threats sent in my name by Robert's Trolls, according to them. Oh, you wait till the end of this video because you're fucked. Slavic is a member of Robert Shin's cult and he has literally no paper trail. You are obsessed. Damn, he's a good looking man, guys. Okay, I just read that. I don't even know what this is for. It was taking so long ago. Do it. Don't know any of these people you're talking about. Maybe you could learn instead of making this comment. <gasps> what? Oh! I told so many people at work yesterday to watch the docuseries. Okay, it's about the docuseries. How? These people pay your bills, you miserable bitch. Bah! Look at that nose. You, you can't tell me. Nobody's in active addiction. Look at that eyebrow. Sorry. Eyeball. Hmm. Lots going on here, KJ. There's her. There she is, drunk as fuck. There she is. <sighs> drunk as fuck. Crazy eyes. Eileen Moore knows. Oh, my God. Vic White has no paper trail, meaning there are limited recorded public records that are in his name. Online articles and appearances on a show are not a paper trail. Every dancer in 7M is easily searchable. She's still going. Like, she literally is stalking this man. For recorded public records, there are limited records for Big White, making him easier for Robert to hide. What is it your fucking business anyways, lady? No, I take that back, because you're not a lady. You're a monster. Confirmed this morning, Vic moved into a new townhouse with other Shekinah church members in January 2024. Their place is only a few miles from Robert Shin's house. Oh my god, call the police! Ugh, what is this now? Backstory on Paulson's and what? Oh, this is a neighbor one that I read you guys before. So just pause to read. I don't want to read it again. Kind of want to just get through this. And I did do that one. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. If you receive emails from this account, this is 100% me. This is a new Gmail account created today. And we are 100% sure we know who it is. It's Katie Joy Paulson. Look what she's done to her email. Katie Joy Paulson 666. 666? That's your new email now. After the other two you've used, got caught for using, and sending death threats to people, right? Yeah, don't worry, bitch. I'll be proving that. Helping these families and survivors has been an honor, and I hope one day they will get justice. Uh-huh. For 27 months, I've been reported on a man named Robert Shin and his alleged cult. This story has been in the hardest and most painful to report for so many reasons. I've covered a lot of cults. In all of the years that I've exposed cults, Robert Shin's group has been the most insidious and most vindictive that I have ever seen. Robert decided early on that I was public enemy number one. This decision by Robert has left my world in complete upheaval. Yet you're still in line. Stalking, harassing, bullying, doxing. You're still here. He sued me for frivolous claims in an attempt to silence me. In March 2022, Robert's group teamed up with a group of crawlers on Instagram, Twitter, Reddit, and YouTube. That is absolutely false. Their job is to expose and smear my work. Girl, I've been on you for years, so is everyone else. It has nothing to do with Robert Shin. 
Silence the reports and attempt to cast doubt about the claims that survivors and victims have reported. Miranda Derrick posted a video claiming she received horrible messages. I believe she has from you. This was done to try to stop the negativity towards her by Robert. Robert and his trolls made sure that I would pay for what allegedly Miranda, Miranda endured. Oh, you are going to be paying because you're sued. You are paying. In fact, you've paid over a million dollars already, dummy. How's that working out for you? In the past three days, I've been swatted by a creator helping Robert. This creator filed a false report with the FBI in the middle of the night claiming I was trapped in my home with an intruder and my son. This same creator filed two false reports to CPS in my attorney's name stating that I was planning to unlive my son. Cops woke us up at 4 a.m. this morning pounding on our door. Um, where's the ring cam footage? Because I call bullshit. Again, some of, there is a creator that has asked as FOIA request for this so-called footage. I can't wait to see it. The same group has created no less than three emails in my name and have sent threats Robert Shin's attorney, my attorney, other creators, and people still in Robert's church. Their email to me on Thursday stated their goal was that I would be arrested and Robert Shin would be left alone by me. That would be a bonus, actually, because I do hope you get arrested for everything that you have done to me, okay? And to everyone else. This creator is threatened to unlimited. Who's the creator? Since when do you not tell people who the creator is? That's why I know you're lying. My husband and me, all of this is supposed to scare me to stop reporting on Robert Shen. This creator filed false reports on my name to state uh, attorney general in Minnesota. They have contacted other people posing as me. They claim they won't stop until I stop speaking to Robert Shen. This behavior is a criminal, and now because they involved the FBI, this has become a federal crime. If Robert Shen is tied to any of this, I won't stop until he's in prison. I'm not going to stop, girl, until you're in fucking prison. Do you fucking hear me? Yeah. Game on, bitch. Robert Shen's path of destruction hits my family. This bullshit right here. Look what, what I haven't opened them because I don't want to. I don't want them fucking knowing anything about me. And I'm fearful of opening up these emails. But look what I got today. Imagine that. Imagine that. Monday, 7.54 to me. From Katie Joy. This first one, it says, going to have you swatted and killed Beta and Misty. Misty is on Twitter. I just talked to her and I showed her this. And I asked for permission to share this. And then Katie Joy, this was forwarded to me and it says, tell Misty law enforcement are being given all her information and she will be arrested shortly. All of you will be. Look at the fucking bottom guys. From Katie Joy, Katie Joy Paulson 886 at gmail.com. Then look at the very bottom. Two tips at without a crystal .com. That is her real email address. Really? And I'm being sent this to be apparently Katie Joy. I've called the police. I'm waiting for a phone call back. Honestly, it takes forever. I won't be surprised if I don't get one until later tonight or tomorrow morning, one or the other. But I have called the police. You know what's fucked is yesterday I just stated this. Did I not say that if I was being threatened that I would get off, call the police, get offline because I would rather like fuck screw the videos I, would, I i need to save my son i need to protect my family right and then all of a sudden i get sent this because of this i'm not gonna stop unless i'm told to by the police officer i'm, do I'm dealing with <sighs> i've had it i've had it this is because of you kj this is all your fault and you will be reprimanded for it. There's consequences for your actions. And guess what? I live in Canada. We don't fuck around here. Okay? So I don't believe for one second that your two emails got hacked. Just like last time during the Toddy Westbrook lawsuit. Remember that? I do. We all do. You do this every fucking time. You are not going to get away with this because I am not going to stop until you're held responsible. And you will be. Anyways, guys, before my blood pressure goes through my roof here, I have to... I'm done. I have to get off. This is my last one for today. Um, <laughs> let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm just like, wow, man, it's too much. It's too much. And she will be held accountable. I, like I said, I'm doing this not only for my family, but for every other person that she has victimized. I won't stop until she is gone. Gone, meaning off all platforms, held accountable, put in prison, whatever. It's going to happen. You guys have a great night. Bye.